Hey folks, we've got a new lesson for you. It's Bella by Angus and Julia Stone. This one was given to me to do as a request, so hopefully you guys find this useful. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be playing through the things. We're going to play through it fast, we're going to play through it slow for each section. And what I'll do at the start is I'll just explain a little bit about the finger picking pattern that we're going to use, okay? Because it's a repeating thing, so you, should, you shouldn't have too much problem with this. There's maybe a couple of little stretchy chords, but it's a really fun one to try out. So, let's get started. Okay folks, so our main picking pattern, I'll explain this through for you. Um, the intro one's fairly simple, so I'll, I'll play that through slowly for you when we get to the intro, but I'm just going to show you the main picking pattern just so you can see what's happening here. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a little rule for our fingers here. We're going to be playing, we're going to be playing the thumb on the E, the A and the D, okay? Just the D strings, okay? Then the, fi the first finger is going to sit on the G, the middle finger will be on the B, and the third finger will play the, the high E there. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. Thumb, 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 index, middle, third. Okay, now that's a rule and that's what we want to stick to. Okay, the intro's different. We kind of just you do it a little bit more freestyle in the intro, but for the verse and the chorus, um, you really need to keep quite strict with your picking pattern here, okay? So we've got our capo at the first fret, and I'm going to build up our first chord just to show you the picking pattern and then we'll get into playing through the parts fast and slow. So, our first chord is going to be A add 9 and that's going to be 2nd fret on the D with the first finger, 4th fret on the G with the pinky and middle finger down here on the B at the 2nd fret. Playing down from the A string you would play. Like so. Okay, so that's our chord shape. Now on that chord shape we're going to be playing this pattern. Now this is a popular picking pattern, it's used in a lot of songs. If any of you guys know Dust in the Wind by Kansas, it's very very similar to that. And if you don't, I would probably check that out because that's a really good uh, it's a really good one for your ears to kind of get tuned into that pattern. Okay, another song that uses the same sort of pattern as that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the thumb on the A string here, middle finger on the B string, and we're going to play them together like this. So that will give us two notes at once, as you can see right? Then once we do that, we're going to go down with the thumb down to the D string. And then we're going to play the index finger on the G, okay? Like that. So we're going to go. So that's A and B together, followed by D with the thumb, G with the index finger. Okay, and our timing is one two and like that okay so hopefully that'll make sense now we go on to the next part all we need to do to finish off the pattern is we need to play on the three and and the four and of the bar and to play that what we're going to do is we're going to play thumb on its own on the a string middle finger on its own on the b string then thumb on its own on the d string and then index finger on its own on the g so we'd get this on the second part three and four and okay so that's our timing if you put that all together what you'll get is you'll get a little pattern that goes like this okay now that's the basic pattern but what we're going to do is he kind of plays this pattern when he's playing it a little bit slower We're going to be playing this like the album. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take out one of these first fingers. So what's going to happen is we're going to get this. We're going to get together on the A and B. Then D with the thumb. G with the index finger. Then thumb on the A. Middle finger on the B. And then just thumb on the D. Okay. And that's going to be one, two, and three, and four. Okay. And that's going to be the part we're going to use there like that. The pattern I showed you just before that is one that he uses live, so if you want to try it, both patterns by all means, but the ones I will be bringing up for the tab are the ones that we use on the album version of the song. Okay, so I'll just play that through for you again. Okay, nice and slow again, you can watch the fingers here. That's one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And 
that's our main pick and pattern. Okay, so we'll try and stick to that rule when we're playing our pick and pattern through. Well, obviously, we'll have to change the chords through them, so we'll be playing A's and B minor shapes and an E and stuff. So you will be changing where your bass note goes sometimes, but the basic pattern remains the same. So we'll get straight into the the intro here and then we'll play through our three or four sections that we have. Okay, I'll play through them slow and I'll play through them fast so you can see how they all sound. Alright, so let's go on to the intro.
Right folks, hopefully you found that helpful. Um, I'm going to post the PDF tab as well on my website so you can find that in the description and you can download that and that'll maybe help you work through the video as well. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Remember, leave a comment if it helped you, leave a like, press the subscribe button if you're feeling generous and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.